I understand that it's challenging to make money on Instagram as an artist, but it's totally possible. Today, I'm going to share with you five Instagram accounts who are doing it really well. I often hear artists and creators worried that by showing their work, they will be giving away their work for free, or that someone could just come along and steal their work without giving them any credit. Well, here's a little hard truth. That could happen, but it shouldn't stop you from promoting yourself. People gravitate towards artists and creators on Instagram because they want to be inspired. They want to see beautiful things. And above all, they admire you. So you deserve to have success online, just like the following five artists that I'm going to share with you. Meet Teal. She's an artist from Charleston, South Carolina, at Teal Art on Instagram. And Teal does such a good job at showcasing her art on walls so that you can actually envision purchasing it and putting it in your home or in your office. She also does a great job at showing you what inspires her to create her art. So before it becomes a painting, she's getting inspired when she's often at the beach and looking at umbrellas and looking at patterns. She also shows you her work in progress. And so many people love to see the behind the scenes of how artists have created their art. So take a peek at Teal's feed and get inspired, especially if you're an artist who's not quite alternating all the different elements that you could be sharing on Instagram that will represent your art. Remember that this is like a portfolio opportunity for you here. The second artist I want to share with you is Barry, and I have just loved watching her Instagram account grow. Barry loves painting flowers, and when you look at her whole feed, you can clearly see that they are in almost every post. But what she does so well is that she shows you these young girls in the dresses from the prints that she creates. And even when you're looking at the girls, you're also seeing flowers in their hands. And when she's showing the prints that's on her home goods, you also get the same sense of the art that she's painting and creating on palettes that then become fabrics. She also does a really good job at showing her campaigns and promoting her campaigns. And even when you're looking at something promotional, you still feel her art in the background there. But she's doing a giveaway and she's lining it up with the beautiful um, fabrics, the rainbow fabrics that she has created. So when you go to her feed and you look at everything, I want you to pay attention, especially if you're an artist, to the feed as a whole. This is what I call a cohesive artist Instagram account where every t single time you're looking at a post, you get a sense of her art. So when it shows up in your home feed as a new post that Barry's made, you know that it is her art. Catherine is another talented artist and designer and the things that I want to point out here for you as an artist is the way that she highlights some of the materials that she's using to create her art. Now, often what you're going to see are color patterns of blues and green in her feed. And I love how the inspiration comes from nature and comes from when she's traveling. So she's alternating real life experiences as an artist and then she's bringing you into her world um, of what she's painting on her canvas. And if you like blue greens and the feeling of nature, she is absolutely an artist that you need to go check out and say hello to. Charlie Burroughs has become one of my favorite Instagram accounts. I'm kind of obsessed with her feed. I can't wait till she posts and I love the feeling of her whole feed when scrolling through. She really uh, showcases so much of the same content, but yet it's different. And because she's a photographer, she has 
an advantage of really understanding great lighting in every single pose. But what I want you to pay attention to as an artist with Charlie is the intimacy of her taking us with her on her journey as she's creating her art. The behind the scenes that she does and you can feel her energy and a sense of her personality. She's always listening to music when she's working. She has an obsession with flowers and frequently you will see the flowers in her post as an element that she adds as an artist. Not only is she painting them, but she's showing you that inspiration as an artist, what, what makes her so successful when she goes to the canvas. She also is extremely creative with her descriptions. Fresh coffee and fresh blooms are making my Friday a little bit lovely. She also does a good job at using emojis. A very happy weekend from this little white rabbit to you. So you really get a feeling of her personality. She does these very, very lighthearted, creative descriptions. The third thing about Charlie's account that I love, and I really feel like, you know, she has this, you know, sexy, provocative, um, but oh so classy way of showing herself in white when she's doing her work and um, the, her, you know so it's a little bit about her fashion sense and the inspiration of fashion um, that comes into play frequently as well so there's so much consistency here from Charlie go over and say hi and let her know that I sent you I know that you will not be disappointed when you get your daily dose of inspiration from Charlie Burroughs at me oh my girl on Instagram Finally, the most light-hearted artist that I want to share with you is someone who really gets you to feel what that tropical paradise is like pineapple underscore artist not only shows you her watercolors of pineapples but she also gives us a splash of palm trees and I say a splash because I feel like I'm literally at the water at a beach or resort when I'm looking at her feet she also brings you in with real models wearing bathing suits and patterns that she's created and she knows how to do tagging very well so this is actually a post from another Instagram account that aligns with her branding because again we're talking about that tropical vibe we have the palm trees and the pineapples the other thing I want to bring to your attention is as an artist she's showing you some of her quotes that she's alternating throughout her feed that also give inspiration so if you're a watercolor artist and you like just simple art and the feeling of the beach and the palm trees and the pineapples, go ahead over to pineapple underscore artist and say hello. So if you're an artist or a creator, I hope you're now feeling inspired to make a name for yourself on Instagram after seeing that it is totally possible. Let me know in the comments below which one of these five was your favorite to see. And if you're still struggling after watching the video, I have you covered. I have a play-by-play -play strategy guide of what you need to do to get started. It's right here in the comments below.